SK, man. I've been knowing SK since like, like 07, 08, something like that. This ain't no shit where it's like no, no favoritism or, or none of that shit. Like, niggas earned they spot. It's amazing to see, and it's cause it's so the mother. Man, that nigga is fire. That nigga's fire, man. And I'm just excited for the world to see this shit. You know what I mean? I started rapping when I was like 9, 10 years old. My brother used to be in a room with all his friends and shit. You feel me? They be in there smoking weed, smoking the room. I, I, I hear him rapping, freestyling. I bust in the door. He be like, close the door. You feel me? In the projects. Play my own projects. Uh, East Side Baltimore. This East Baltimore, this uh, Sedonia. Urban, you got four by four up the street. Sedonia, but this Sinclair Lane, it's basically Sedonia. Like you see these houses, they colorful houses now. Even if you look through the field, all this shit used to be projects, Claremont projects, uh, Freedom Way projects. This whole shit used to be, but now they, they knocked it down and all that shit, put the colorful houses up. But yeah, this is where I grew up at, this is where I was born and raised up until I was like 10, 11 years old. What I can say is authentic. It's, it's him, you know what I mean? He's not trying to be nobody else. He's not trying to follow no other type of way. You know what I mean? The stuff that he rap about, he really, you know, been through it. You know what I mean? I feel like it's from his heart. Everything is changed. So I just think that it's Big Fell family because he really just pushed through and just followed his dream. He ain't take the doctor route or the nurse route. He really following, you know, the dreams. He shooting for the stars. Between me um, trying to get away from the streets in Baltimore, getting into trouble, and also Atlanta being a hot spot. You know, Atlanta popped off like what, 06, 07. I took the little money I had, I just moved. Found a house, found a job, you know what I mean? And But uh, in the midst of going down there, I ended up getting caught up in some, some shit. I lost my house, my car, everything. But if that never would have happened, I would have never met Khan. So me losing my house after I came home, it forced me to live in my man's studio, which I used to be signed to him, Nick Fury. I'm standing in one of the little side rooms in the studio, sleeping on the floor on blankets and shit. So Conway and Wes always being there, so that's how I first really seen him. Something happened with Conway with his living situation. He like, man, I need somewhere to stay. And we asked Fury, like, shout out to Nick Fury. You know what I'm saying? He, he let niggas stay there, like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, he ain't had to do that. That's how we connected. Like, I end up staying there because I came home, lost everything. Furry let me stay there, and it was like the same thing with Khan. So yeah, this the, uh, this the 1400 side. They knocked this down already, but this where I lived at, you know what I mean? But the whole projects, I ran through the whole projects. This is where I jumped off the porch. You know, we used to steal cars, like, we used to steal cars from like this neighborhood down here. If you go to the left, <laughs> this more the people who got a little more money. A lot of memories, so much shit happened. First got locked, my first time getting locked up was right here on this street right here. You know what I mean? Running from the police, you know, the police, you know, we try and hustle, you know, get our money type shit. Police hop out, chase us, we running all through the cuts, all up here, they chase us all down here, all to the top of the project, you know what I mean? Like, shorty that, you feel me? Like, he that, he's different. He, you ain't gonna hear nobody in Baltimore City that sound like, bro, factory. He different, yo, he original, you feel me? Nowadays and age, everybody sound the same. Everybody do the same shit. Yeah. Bro ain't got no specific way he can kill you. He can kill you harmonizing. He can kill you punch lining. He really grew up with this man. It ain't no like, no, nah, that's my friend. Like, no, nah, this my brother right here. We grew up, like, we was over each other's houses, like, hood to hood with each other, like, did everything. You feel what I'm saying? So, from the 14, Northeast Baltimore, all the way down to South Baltimore. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot we're not gonna speak on, but we really put in a lot for this, right? And to see this man right here do the things that he's doing, like how we all plan to do. Bro leading the way right now. Right. You feel Shout what I'm out, saying? Man. Shout out to SK, man. Shout out to SK drum work shit, man. Don't play with man. Don't play with man. Don't play with We got man. legal guns, we ain't <laughs> I'm on parole now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, this my guy right here, Menace. We grew up around this motherfucker together. He a day one official solid nigga. Always been, you feel me? Yeah. I was in the feds about two years on that case, but I just came home. I was only home for like 30 days. I just now beat five murders. Mm. Oh, this motherfucker. Mm. Two motherfuckers got killed up here. No one got killed on the step. And two more people got killed over there, for real. But I just came home for three murders, so it was like. They trying to put, like, put all shit, that shit on right here. I was going to have to wear that one. 
definitely came a long way. Definitely proud of him. He was always that one that always said, keep pushing, though. Yeah. Like, he been on it. He been on it. Been on it. I remember when he moved from my head and moved down to Atlanta. Was trying to get me to come out there, but I couldn't mm -hmm. let go. Like, I, I love this shit. I love this shit too much, but this wasn't the way. But he seen the vision. You know, everybody ain't meant to see your vision. No, but no, no, sometimes no. it's only for you to see. So I'm glad he stayed consistent because I start saying it. When I came home that last time, he called me up, he got in contact with me. You know when they be like, um, it could be a whole party going on. But if you set yourself away and go in the corner, only your true ones that really love you gonna come over there to that corner and visit you. They might go back partying. But they gonna come visit you to check you out and see if you good and check on you. No That's doubt. something he did to me. You feel me? So that kind of motivated me for real. Changed my life. Cause I'm supposed to be home for real. So I said, man, that, that music shit a motherfucker. You know, we grew up together in the streets. You know, we met in the streets, but the music is what brought us close. We met in the streets. We we was on the same type time. He was always curious. He always liked music. Uh, he was always in his room with music, so uh, he wanted a computer. Cause he used to like to make beats and you know. And I brought him the computer and that's how he started getting into the rapping. And I would be in my room, I could hear this beat bop and rapping and stuff. I said, is that my son? You know, he sounded good. That's K, you're gonna get something original. You're gonna get dope cadences. Dope melodies, metaphors, bars, all of that. Super dope, super talented. He's like witty with the pen, witty. So, you know what I mean? Like, you cannot pay attention for a second and may not get it. You may listen to it a million times and get it the millionth time, but he's super dope with the pen. Just, just super dope, super dope artist. SK, for me, SK is like who you would be like, oh, y'all rapping? Let me, let me give y'all somebody that's rapping, going crazy. He's, to me, your essential street rapper, like your guy, your guy off the block, your guy, you know, that you just like, my boy spit, he got some crazy, and then he just got some crazy shit. I've been listening to SK shit. It's just, I knew him and bruh started fucking around. Like, bro had brought me a tape of SK. He was bodying that shit. I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga? A little bit like I handle my love life. I make sure I leave a lasting impression. You understand what I'm telling you guys? I'm gonna get in the ring and show you once again, Tony. Why? Why? Uh, SK the king, bitch, no, I can't be stopped, nigga I'm playing for Keith, no bullshit, I'm gunning at the top, nigga Broad day putting caps in the air, I'm a hot nigga Nigga try to cross me, I make it a swastika We gon' spin the block, they ain't dead in the plot, thicker We gon' look twice as hard with some shit that's a lot bigger Chop sticker, rip your vest apart, these cop killers Try this as he get it the next day, like prime members Straight to the front, line skippers and guap getters Don't give a fuck if I size different for our kind center. You can tell I'm a star made for TV like props, nigga. As long as I'm getting pussy, I don't care about being a side, nigga. Nah, bitches starting to say I'm the shit now. Cause I've been on the run like I skipped trial. Yeah, I stick out in the big crowd. Yeah, I'm lit now, nigga. Sit down. I've got a financial empire. I've got the World Heavyweight Championship. They all wanna be like the nature boy. But there can only be one, the franchise. Ric Flair, the greatest of them all. Well, Ric Flair has been the man, as long as being the man was cool. Facts. Yeah, I've been that nigga. I was a teenager when I seen like test acts, nigga. Two twin coops, mix match, nigga. I was a young slick trap nigga throwing rent at strippers, I swear. I thought I was a rich ass nigga. Fresh as shit, flexing hard on a bitch ass nigga. I'ma be here forever, you just a tip ass nigga. I been at niggas, I come from out that big cat litter. That's the lion's den. Boy, I'm really front and gutter. Ride behind 5% with the blicky and some butter. Got the big nine in my lap and the baby sitting under. Yeah, it's just a little bit smaller, but she looked just like a mother to cut her. In the trunk, that bitch you ought to your size. Winners get parked on the side, the DAs get off of the bribe. I swear, nigga, really. Feel like I'm the hardest alive And one thing I'll do is lie to myself Honest to God I've been 
This my nigga P man, my nigga book for a body, but he be home soon. You already know. Man, free P man, free you my nigga real P nigga, man. You already know, man. Talk your shit, P. Well, I say loyalty ain't coming, you know. And these niggas ain't ten tools like they say they is out here. Only the strong survive in this bitch. You feel me? Just trust and believe a nigga be home real soon. My nigga SK out that bitch doing his thing, representing for drum work. You feel me? See the next, see the next edition coming up. Y'all better look out for him. That's all I got. East Baltimore, though, yo, down the hill, hell, though, man. You met for real on Glover Street. What you heard me? Piece, where the wolves mean? really hang at, though. Yeah. So yeah. if you ain't from where the wolves hang at, I don't <laughs> think it's comfortable. <laughs> I don't think it's comfortable for you to be down this way. Yo, niggas, dreams coming true, my nigga. This is dreams. If anybody in the world don't deserve to make it. This man sacrificed his whole life. Everything. Quit his job. Not seeing his child. Everything, my nigga. This is this is what you call making it. And the, the lights is on him now. Man, get forget about. It. About 15, 20 minutes ago, the shroom smacked this shit out. <laughs> I've been trying to keep my shit together. <laughs> if I was a little, oh yeah, if I was a little weird, bro, the shroom smacked this shit out my face like 15 minutes ago.